again um, for for the warping tutorial, which has been asked a lot. And this is really confusing, so I'll try and explain it as best as I can. Uh, but yeah, let's just remove them and this. And so basically, uh, I was just I was just doing it. So I'm just reset this back to normal. Um, so if this responds, we're going to start. So basically, this is um a very very basic warping tutorial. Um, you can make ones a lot more efficient than this, and just generally a lot better. But one second, I'll be right back when this is. Oh, oh okay, you load now. Good. Anyway, but this you can make it much more efficient, much better stuff like this. But this is a uh, just a very simple one. So we're gonna have to make two arrays. So uh, public final uh, location, and I'll explain what that is in a second. Warp locations equals new location one hundred, and public final uh, I think it's string um, and warp names equals new le, uh, string 100 so basically what I'm saying is we're making a new location um, but it can have um, it's warp locations um, and we put pointers inside here uh, which points it to the, the we'll, we'll, we'll do it in a minute so in here we're just going to do um, if the command label um, is uh, set warp, uh, then what what we have to do is actually first of all we want to check the arguments. So if the args dot length length are equal to zero, then we're going to do player dot send message. Uh, chat color dot red plus which I set warp uh, warp name like that. So otherwise, um, we're going to get the location of the player. So location 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 equals player dot get location. So we're getting the location of the player. Now this is where it gets confusing. If oh wait we've got to make um, something else up here public int warp counter equals zero so anyway if um, I'll put another brackets here warp counter is less than a hundred it's more than a hundred. So if it's not more than a hundred, um, then we're going to do warp locations, and then two square brackets, uh, warp counter equals player location. <laughs> Sorry, no, location. Um, warp location. I spelled that wrong. Anyway, so basically, what it does is, when you do the command, if the warp counter isn't above 100, it's going to set warp location 0, because that's what it is at the moment, to the player's location. Then we're going to do warp names is equal to warp counter. No, 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 walk out that is equal to the args zero. So that's equal to that player. It, it's it's very confusing. <laughs> anyway, and, and then we add one to the warp counter. Like that. So what we're doing is we're we're making the location equal to the player's location. We're making the name equal to um, that this the player, or no, no no the argument they put second, so that's the name of this location, and then we're adding one to it, and we're just gonna send them a message. So player dot send message, chat color dot green, um, and let's say warp, oh, 
warp set as uh, plus args zero. Um, just like that. So, otherwise, if it is, we're just going to say um, the warp limit's been exceeded. So they can't have more than 100. Because if you see up here, we have this 100 here. That means the maximum we can go up to. It's actually 101 because you've got the um, 0 as well. But we're just going to set this to 100. It makes it easier. So we're going to say chat color dot red. And we're going to say warp limit exceeded. Unable to create warp okay so that's that bit done um, so now we're gonna put uh, if they want to warp to command so else if command label equals equals ignore case so if the command is uh, warps already in essential so I don't think, all right warpy um, We've got to do for loop because of the arrays, and what that does is it takes three things in its parameters, which is sort of like so we do for, and then we've got to create an integer, and then we put a semicolon, and then we've got to make it make this loop until something happens. So loop until i um, is is less than loop while um, i is less than warp names dot length. Um, and then let's add one to i once that's done, once this loop's done. So let's um, make a string called warp name. And that's going to equal warp names i. So the i number. So we can add that so that'll keep on incrementing. So if it's false, it can just do it again and wait until it is. So if um, args. Zero. Dot. Equal ignore case. Uh, warp name. Um, then, what we want to do is we want to do location. Warp. Location. Is equal to warp locations i, because we found the um the name of it. So that i is going to be the same as the location i. So therefore, that i there is going to be uh, in sync with the other i. And then let's do player dot teleport to warp location location. And let's do player dot send message. Um, Um, chat color dot green teleported to plus warp name like that, and then we're just going to want to break out of this loop because we found the thing we want to do it to. So let's just break out that loop. Um, so now otherwise if the command label equals warpy so we want to check all the warps that are available uh, we're going to make a string called warps which is going to be equal to nothing at the moment and let's make a for loop again and let's take int i which is equal to zero and let's keep on doing this till i is less than warp names dot length Um, oh, let's just open that up, and let's do at the end. Let's just add one to i. So, if i is not equal to warp names dot length, um, then we're going to do warps, which is the string that we just made, and we're going to add into it the warp names in the i ith pointer. And then we're going to add a comma to it. But because um, 
we're going to get a lot of pointers which don't contain anything, so it's going to spring up no. So we're going to want to do dot replace uh, wherever it says no with just nothing there. Okay, so now let's do otherwise. If it is, we're going to do player dot send message chat color dot uh, dark uh, gray. I'm going to say showing all warps um, plus chat color dot gray plus the warps which is the string up here so let's go through this whole thing now it's very confusing you probably don't understand it but if you look through it it's actually very simple so if the command is set warp um, it's gonna check to see if the warp counter up here which is an integer that we made isn't equal to 100 or it isn't more than 100 and it's going to make the location that uh, the location the player is at and we're going to get the number inside the square parameters of the warp location that is going to be equal uh, wh whatever number we're on at the moment that's going to be equal to the location the players at. We're then going to get the name of this location that they put in the arg0 and make that the same number as here. Okay, then we're going to add one to the warp counter so it's gone to the next number up here so it's not going to be the same inside the parameters. It's going to the warp set as that. Otherwise, if it, if it is bigger than 100, we're going to just say warp well, exceeded, we can't create it. Um, and actually, then we're going to want to do. I should know, never mind. That, that. Okay, anyway, um, so otherwise, if the command is warp, we're going to loop through all the warps and if the argument they put a second is equal to a, uh, the warp that it's looped through we're just going to teleport it to them now if the command is warpies, so we're going to list all the warps, it's going to loop through all the names of the warps and um, it's going to put them in a big string and just replace wherever it says null with nothing and it's going to say showing all the warps like that so um, let's go here, let's go into our plugin.yml let's wait for this to load up ah, you always take a long time so we've got set warp, warpy and warps um, so let's just close this export this and I'll be with you back in the Okay, so we're back here in the server, and um, so if we do set warp, it's going to say set warp warp name. Uh, let's just change my game mode. Um, so let's go over here and make it day actually. So if I stand here and do set warp Ben, it's going to say set warp as Ben. Now if I do warp P's piece no. Okay, no, no, no. if I do warpy Ben it's gonna teleport me to Ben and if I do uh, set warp Ben Ben oh sorry no no no, no. set warp uh, 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 and then do warp uh, 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 uh. oh damn it it's warpy. H U H U H U H. Teleport me to there. If I do warpy, then teleport to man. And if I do warpies, I don't know why that's not working. Um. Uh, I think we have to. I think we have to minus one off of that. So we do warp start length minus one. Mode. Do warpies. It's just gonna. Hmm, one second to bow around. Okay, so I think you just gotta add this dot replace thing here instead of up there. Um, maybe. Let's try that. Uh huh. Warp. Warpies. Yep, so it's gonna show us a load of commas. Now if I do set warp. 
Ben. Whoopee Ben. Whoopee Ben. It doesn't matter what case it is. Whoopee is going to say Ben, comma. Just like that. Yeah. Set warp. Tra. Warpies. And then Whoopee as gift. Whoopee as gift will be then so yeah you can mess around with this a bit more and yeah thanks for watching uh that's this tutorial a lot uh the series is going to be ending soon actually so get your tutorial you get your request to now before i sort of end the series because i want to move on to different things <laughs> so thanks for watching see you next time